Hi, I'm Nancy with Redleaf DigiScrapping. Thanks for joining me. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add a border to your photos. So I'm starting with a picture of a palm tree against a blue sky that I took on one of our vacations. And if you come over to the Layers palette, you can see right now this picture is a background layer and there's the lock symbol on it. So that means that the layer is locked and I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. So the first thing that I want to do is actually turn this into a regular layer rather than a background layer. So to do that, I'm going to right click anywhere on the layer in this gray area. And I'll select layer from background. And this dialog box pops up. You can give the layer a new name if you like. I'm just going to leave it at layer zero and click OK. And now you can see in the layers palette it's called layer zero and that lock has disappeared. So now I can actually edit this. Next what I'm going to do is come up to Edit and down to Stroke Outline Selection. Now because I don't have anything selected, it, what it's going to do is give me a stroke on the entire area. So once we come into the Stroke dialog box, there's a few options here. Uh, the Stroke, we can choose the width in pixels and the color of the stroke. Under Location, you can choose Inside, Center, and Outside. And then you can choose from the Blending Modes and the Opacity. So for Width, this is something that you'll want to play with depending on how wide you want your frame to be and also how large your picture is. So this picture is a high resolution image. It's fairly large. So I'm going to start with a width of about 50 pixels. And we'll try that and see how it looks. If I'm not happy with it, of course, it's easy to undo and change. And the color, I'm going to go for white because I really like the look of the white borders that you can get at the photo labs when you get your pictures developed. For location, when I'm doing this, I generally choose inside. The reason for that is if you choose inside, you're going to get nice sharp corners. Whereas if you go outside or center, the corners will actually start to round off a little bit. It doesn't give you that nice square corner. So I always go with inside. The only thing to keep in mind, of course, is that your border is going to be coming from the edge of the picture in. So you're actually going to lose a little bit around the outside edge of your picture. For blending, I'm just going to leave this at the normal blending mode and opacity of 100% because I just want this to be a plain white border. So I'm going to click on OK and it'll do its thing and now you can see I've got a nice white border all the way around my photo. Now if the border was a little bit too thick or too thin all I would need to do is come up to edit undo stroke and then goes through those same steps again to reapply the border a little bit thicker or a little bit thinner depending on what I'm looking for. And now that this is done now I can take this photo and drag it over onto my scrapbook page. For additional digital scrapbooking tutorials or information on where you can purchase my digital scrapbooking lessons, kits, and templates, please visit www.redleafdigiscrapping.com. Thanks for joining me.